A very warm welcome. You're watching the 5 p.m. newscast with me, Akanksha Swaroop on CNN News 18. Let's begin this news segment with some breaking news inputs coming in on the Congress party. The Congress Central Election Authority Chairman Madhu Sudhan Mistri has ruled out making electoral rolls for the upcoming ASCC presidential polls. Public sources are telling CNN News 18 that the senior Congress leaders Shashi Tharoor had written to Mistri earlier seeking transparency on electoral rolls. Voices are now demanding the publication of the electorals. electors list are now growing louder by the day and a debate within the party has been intensifying. Let's listen in to what Madhusudha Mistri had to say. Bilkul hoga, nispaks hoga, bilkul, fair hoga, iske andar. और सभी तरह की प्रक्रिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के हिसाब से पूरी पूरी होगी रूल्स के हिसाब से इसमें कोई जो है किसी को संशय रखने की जरूरत नहीं है हम आइडेंटिटी कार्ड सबको दे रहे हैं उसका और वो इलेक्शन के पहले तैयार हो जाएंगे और वो सबको दे जाएंगे और जिसको दूसरे स्टेट में भी इससे भी अगर जो भरना हो तो वो इलेक्शन कार्ड जो आइडेंटिटी कार्ड है वो आइडेंटिटी कार्ड में उनका नाम सीरियल नंबर स्टेट का नाम वगैरह सब होगा जो नॉमिनेशन के अंदर भरने के लिए जरूरी है वो सब चीजें आइडेंटिटी कार्ड में खुद में लिखी हुई होगी all right, for more details, let's uh, quickly go across to our senior political editor, uh, Pallavi Ghosh, who's joining me on the phone line. Pallavi, should Madhusudan Mistri's denial to make electoral rolls public be seen as yet another effort by the Congress party to downplay the voices within the party which are now looking for greater transparency and for change? See, I'm just going to go back to the 2000, uh, 2000 youth congress elections which were started by rahul gandhi and at that point of time the entire election results had to be withheld and in fact elections were stopped midway only because electoral polls were not made public and there were many who were the electors were later found to be either people who belonged or uh, to uh, uh, other leaders and there was a sense there was an accusation of nepotism and since then there's always been a question mark over whether these elections are really free fair and open and that's the point which is being made by manish tiwari gulam nabi azad and anand sharma if you do not make your electors public, then how do you do two things? One, how do you ensure that the ones who are going to go and cast their vote are actually genuine voters and not belonging to a family of the top leaders? And second, how is it that we ensure that apart from, say, Rahul Gandhi, other people are also being allowed to file their nomination papers and they are going to be getting the backing of the electors? Right. Uh, Pallavi, also it's interesting that uh, you mentioned the episode in retrospect. Having said that, uh, the upcoming presidential election in the Congress party, how are they now uh, deepening the factional divide across states? Because we've also seen uh, Pradyut Bordoloi of uh, the Assam MP also uh, demanding the same, not to forget all those leaders that you just mentioned. You know, the whole idea of holding these elections was actually to quell the rebellion, so-called rebellion in the party, but unfortunately, that's not how it's working out. The high-profile leaders like Manish Tiwari, Shashi Tharoor, all of them are actually begun to question the entire process. And despite the reassurance coming in from Madhusudan Mitri, who happens to be the chairperson of the election committee for the Congress presidential elections, there doesn't seem to be a clarity. It'll be interesting to see if others, apart from Rahul Gandhi, for example, file their nomination papers. And when the electoral results come out, on 17th of October, 19th of October, after elections are held on 17th of October, whether the transparency which the Congress Party is claiming actually takes place. Right, Pallavi. 